74% of modern-day Swedes and 82% of modern-day Finns have the derived allele for lactose persistence. Among the populations of Bronze Age Europe, only 10% carried the derived allele for lactose persistence. Of course, neither the Swedes nor the Finns could get their lactose persistence from a Mesolithic European hunter-gatherer group. Mesolithic European hunter-gatherers did not drink milk, so the genes must have come from a population of cattle herders, such as the corded ware culture. In a study linked in the description, a soil from two ceramic vessels belonging to corded ware culture, 2k years BC, found in a cremation grave discovered in central Moravia, Czech Republic, was analyzed using modern analysis technology. Matrix-assisted laser ionization spectrometry revealed the presence of triacylglycerols in both vessels. This analytical technique was used for the analysis of the soil content from archaeological ceramic vessels for the first time. Targeted ELISA experiments consequently proved the presence of milk proteins on, in both ceramic vessels. To sum it up, milk was an integral part of the corded ware cultures and likely is the reason for lactose tolerance in modern Europeans. Let's look at one of the SNPs that correlate la with lactose persistence in Europeans, RS4988235. In RS49A8235, the genotypes that correlate with lactose persistence are CT and TT. Those genotypes are found in 91% of Northern Europeans of Utah, in 30% of Gujarati Indians, in 50% of Mexicans, and surprisingly in only 17% of Italians. The higher value in Mexicans may suggest that Native Americans carry the same allele for lactose tolerance as Europeans. Perhaps the gene derives from ancient North Eurasians. I don't want to make any rush conclusions, but this starts to seem like a plausible explanation.